Welcome to the vault. My name is My Tug, and this is Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last time, we did two more side quests, and now it's time to push more story. We're looking for hints as to where the uh, Triforce might be, but we really don't have anything to go off of, so let's talk to our resident history expert. Ah, uh, hello, Link. Have you heard anything more about my daughter? What is it? If you know anything at all, I urge you to share it with me. You want to tell me, but you can't? Hmm, I understand. I'm sure you have a good reason for keeping quiet, like a mute. Link, I've been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You have had this destiny thrust upon you without warning or choice, for that matter, but I wish to help you as best I can. I'm getting older and I lack the vigor of youth, but even old men have ways of being useful too. I wish to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. If you have any questions, any question at all about Skyloft Ord's history, I will be glad to tell you all that I know. Actually, what do I know of the Triforce? Link, where did you hear that word? It's true that the ancient texts make several mentions of the Triforce within their pages, Unfortunately, the actual location of the Triforce isn't illuminated in any of these tomes. Its whereabouts are lost to history. Sorry, Link, it shames me to say, but my knowledge is of little use on this subject. Ah, his knowledge is of little use. Well, I'm not sure what we're going to do then. Link, just a moment! Though there is one whose vast knowledge may be of use, surely you're familiar with Levis, the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages? Levis has served as the protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of our world is an encyclopedic, to put it mildly. If anyone in the entirety of Skyloft and beyond were to know about the Triforce, it would be him. Where is he? Yes, I feared that might be your next question about that. I imagine in your travels you've taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that suddenly appeared in our skies. Recently I've heard rumors suggesting that Levis is trapped inside that massive cloud. I asked Instructor Olin to look into this troubling cloud in order to determine if there is any truth to these rumors. I had meant to inquire about his findings earlier, but completely forgot about it after Zelda went missing. After all, my daughter is far more important than a god guardian. Instructor Olin can fill me in on the details later, so why don't you go speak with him yourself and see what his investigation has revealed. After all, you're the important one here. I'm only the headmaster of the Knight Academy and most important and highest ranking person in all of Skyloft. Who cares if I know? Okay, well... So, Instructor Owen might know something then. Well, let's go see if he's in the classroom and find out what he knows. Where? No, he's not in here. Oh, right, he's in his room. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Ah, here he is, right next door. Plants! Plants everywhere! <laughs> Why? Because I could. Fall. Okay, enough of that. Ah, Link. How goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? What? Levis. Ah, so you've been talking to the headmaster, I take it? If I'm correct, Levis is the one inside the Thunderhead, but that's not the Levis that we all know. That's... a monster. 
It certainly looks like Levis, but last time I approached him, he came rushing at me and his eyes, they were full of malice. People change, or old wizened creatures change, rather. Perhaps it's more that he's possessed by something. That's how it felt to me. What? You want to talk to Levis? That's impossible. I don't think Levis is capable of listening. Not in his current state, no. And even if you were to get close enough to talk to him, it will likely end with you getting brushed aside and sent flying to your death in a sea of clouds. What? You're still planning on going? I see. It's because you need to find Zelda. I understand. I get the feeling nothing I could say would talk you out of it. Hey, I have an idea. Come with me. Hey. Levis is inside the Thunderhead. He's been acting so strangely. He's been acting so strangely. It's like something has possessed him. If we can somehow free him from whatever it is that has a hold over him, then there's a chance he will return to his senses. Listen well, Link, because I'm about to teach you a very powerful brute riding technique. It's called the Spiral Charge. Using the Spiral Charge, you can get rid of Levis... You can rid Levis of the blight that has hold of him. The technique is quite easy to perform. All you have to do is press A. However, the acceleration lasts longer than any attack move you've used so far. Maintaining stable flight can be tricky. This is a technique that only senior Knight Academy students who have mastered high-level flight skills are allowed to perform, despite the fact that it is so very simple. It's still a bit too early for you, but this is an extraordinary circumstance, so I'll make an exception this time. However, I will test you. First, dive off this platform and call your bird. Because we need your other half to perform this, but your other half doesn't deserve a name. Yes, I'm still going on about that. It's one of the big things that irks me about this game. Listen up, Link. I taught your Loftwing to perform a spiral charge when you press A. I did so behind your back without your knowledge, and in fact did so at such a time before it was necessary. Press A to spiral charge and break the ten, the ten targets placed around the floating boulders up ahead. If you can destroy ten targets in under two minutes, I will recognize you as a skilled bird rider. Alright, off you go! Now, there are more than 10 targets, so feel free to be picky as to which ones you want. If you see an easy one, grab it. Notice I'm just running around grabbing some of these really easy and convenient ones. And... Booyah! Booyah! Let's see, there's another one. They're out of my reach now. Avoid, avoid, avoid! Okay. That one looks simple enough to grab. Boy, I'm having trouble flying straight. There we go. Oh, I'm having so much trouble flying straight all of a sudden. Pop! Three more to go. Okay, there's one I can go hit. Oh, birdie! Two more. Two more. Ah, there's two more. I'm pretty sure that yeah, there's more than ten because might have seen the bird way down at the bottom there. And I saw another one, so there's at least twelve. I'm not sure how many there are in total. Okay, where? Turn. There we go. Okay. Coming on in, and pop! Ooh. 
Oh, you managed to destroy ten targets within the time limit. If you can control your bird that well, you'll have no problems at all. I knew you could do it, Link. And what a magnificent red bird. You are henceforth permitted to use the spiral charge attack as a qualified bird rider. The next thing we have to address is just how to go about finding Levis. Maybe the owner of the Lumpy Pumpkin might know something. Every year he makes an offering of his pumpkin soup for Levis. Go to the Lumpy Pumpkin and ask him what he knows. And so, we will. I'll cut ahead and I'll meet you at the Lumpy Pumpkin. What's the matter? You look like you've got something mighty serious on your mind. Actually, Levis. What about him? Sure, I know Levis well, but I wasn't aware anything was wrong. Every year, I offer him an entire basin full of my pumpkin soup. Lately, a huge thunderhead has been brewing there, and I haven't yet made this year's offering. I tell you, I feel horrible about it. No. You say you'll deliver a pot of my soup to Levis? Huh. I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but... If that's the case, I'm going to do everything I can to make Levis the best batch of soup ever. You wait right here. I'm getting inspired to fire up some soup like I've never souped before. Never souped before? Don't you mean never cooked before? <laughs> Voila, here it is. I've been cooking this stuff for well over ten years, and I have to say this is the best batch of pumpkin soup I have ever created. Master, I will signal for the robot. Miss Fee, I'm here, Bzzzer! Oh, this is another heavy load, but don't worry, I can carry anything! I'll be waiting outside, I can take you wherever you need to go as soon as you're ready, Zyat! The place where I offer soup to Levis is inside the Thunderhead Cloud on an island with an everlasting rainbow. Oh, you'll know it when you see it. Good luck. It is actually very easy to spot inside the Thunderhead. He's quite right about that. Which, I'm going to cut ahead and I'll meet you inside the Thunderhead. I think I'll, uh cut inside there so that you can more easily see the island that he's talking about. See ya there. And here we are inside the Thunderhead. See? Island. Rainbow. Very easy to spot from any distance. Ah! So I'm gonna kill some of those things. At any rate... All we have to do is fly on over and dive off. I'm unloading this cargo of pumpkin soup here. You've picked an odd place for our soup delivery. Feels dangerous. Something could jump out at us at any moment. Hungry for soup. A robot. I'm out of here! See you around, Zert! Oh, it suddenly got dark and it's raining now. Hey! It's a giant skyfish! Or windfish! Cough, cough. With tentacle eyeballs attached to it. Oh, 
great spirit of the sky, Levis. We don't fight him there. Oh no. We take to our bird. Ah, missed. There's unfortunately no Z targeting. Ow. Careful of him, can't touch him anywhere. There's no Z targeting, so you don't get any fee information. Pop. Goal is to hit all the eyeballs with a spiral charge. Let's pick up a little speed. Aim over here. This thankfully does not get harder the more that's been popped. This is actually a really simple encounter. There we go. That's all the eyeballs. And now we have one more to deal with. Oh, is that gonna camp? Ah! I was afraid of that. You have to land on that plate itself. I've never missed that plate before. Hello, Let's Play Curse. Alright. I don't... Yeah, okay, we do not have to deal with the eyeballs again. Thank God. Charge. Gaining. And... Dive! Now, here's the real boss fight. Ocular Parasite. Bioclips. Nope, let me... Yep. Ah! Ow. Target locked. Bioclite. This species of parasite is currently attached to Levis. It is known for its enormous ocular structure. Its horrifying life form utterly controls the mind and body of its host. Understood! Oof. He spits at us, and I swing the sword far too early. Oh, come on! And it goes flying the way you hit it. How did that not hit? What's going on? There we go. Okay, apparently you have to do a diagonal up. Bam! And now you wail on him. Just go to town and bash him to bits. Ooh. Here's another for ya! Come down! Ow! Wow, I did not know he could do that! Wail on him some more! Ow! All right, buddy. Now, rather simple encounter. Oh, no, we're not doing it yet. Ah, there he goes. That's what I was expecting him to do last time. Oh, come on. Bash. Oh, ah, in a different way. You will not drop down. No! Wow. Let's play Curse! Ah! No! Wrong way! Ugh. You have to 
bash the things into him. Did you even swing the way I wanted you to? There, gotcha. Nope, that wasn't the way you were supposed to swing. What was that? I'm starting to wonder if I'm not... I'm starting to wonder if it's deceived. Really? You didn't try to dodge? Uh... No! Uh... What's with the stupid things constantly going down? Really? You went that way? You're supposed to go the other way! It's supposed to be a pattern to you! You stupid eyeball! Die already! Was not the way I meant to swing, but you know what? I'm not complaining about that one. Pop, 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 pop! Um... We're still kind of on him. Well, at least the rain's letting up. Oh good, he's coming back up. Tell me, boy, was it you who brought me this most delectable cauldron of pumpkin soup? I must apologize for my earlier behavior. It a most peculiar and irksome pest possessed me. I was not myself. But that business is done with now. The delicious aroma of that soup has restored me to my senses, and it had nothing to do with the fact that you just beat the tar out of the parasite. I am the great spirit they call Levis. Before she passed from this world so long ago, the goddess Hylia appointed me as Warden of the Skies. And what do they call you, boy? Ah, Link, is it? A rather pleasing name, that. Your parents clearly have excellent taste in names. Hmm, you carry a curious sword, boy. And I sense a silent power dwelling somewhere in that little frame. Only it's not very silent, because it constantly comes out to talk and pester you, doesn't it? Ah, I see now. Link, you are the goddess's chosen hero. How interesting. I assume you've come to hear what I know about the Triforce? You know? Do I know? You realize you are speaking to the great sky spirit, do you not? Bah! No matter. As I suspected. Listen closely, I will tell you. As you likely know, long ago an evil force attempted to take the Triforce for his own. The goddess did everything in her power to prevent it from falling into his hands. For the safety of all things, she hid the Triforce somewhere within the rock you call Skyloft. However, its location has been kept secret. Even I do not know where it rests now. Oh, but the goddess did entrust me with a hint as to the Triforce's location. The clue is a song meant to be played on the harp you hold. It is known as the Song of the Hero. The song is the key to revealing the secret location of the Triforce. The goddess spirit split this song into four parts. She entrusted one part to me and the other three to the dragons of the land. You must gather each of the parts of the song of the hero, seek out the dragons, and convince them to teach you their part. When they've... <sighs> Sorry about that. When they've taught you what they know, come to me and I will complete the song with my own voice. The dragons can be found at Farn Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanaru Desert. Go on, then, and find the dragons you now seek. Well, 
Looks like we have yet another quest ahead of us. We need to go back to each of the lands and look for the dragons. We've met the water dragon already, so I think she'll probably be a good start. We've... We heard a rumor about the one in Lanaru Desert, but we've not had any mention of a dragon in Elden Volcano before now. Well, this will all have to wait for another time, at least. But for now, I think that we've done plenty. The vault is closing, and this is my talk signing off, wishing you all a good day. God bless you.